Pages can create three types of lists, bulleted, ordered, and ordered with a hierarchy. Lists are controlled here in the Format Inspector. A list can be created by starting with nothing and typing each list item. Or you can already have an unformatted list, like this one, and then format it as bulleted, ordered, or ordered with hierarchy using the list controls. Let's start with this blank document and create a simple bulleted list. In the Bullets and List menu here, I'm going to select Bullet Big. That starts me with one bullet point at the top of the page. Enter some text be beside that bullet and hit Return to get to the next bullet point. Keep repeating to create the list. In the Format Inspector, I can control the indent of the bullet or the indent of the text after the bullet. I can also change the type of bullet from this menu. I'll switch this to a check mark. The color of the bullet can be changed here. Below that, the size and alignment of the bullet can be adjusted. So I'll have a red check mark at 90% size and move the alignment up just a bit. I can still edit the text in the list using the normal format controls here. Notice that there is now an asterisk next to the bullet big list style. This means that I can save the current list as its own style. Just click the plus button here and save. Now let's make an ordered list. I'll start with the numbered list. This works pretty much the same way as bulleted lists. Each time I create a new line, the next number in the list is displayed. The nice thing about ordered lists is that the numbers will update as you add new lines to the middle of the list. So if I want to add a new item to the list in the third position, I can add a new line under the second item and all the numbers below are updated. Over in the Format Inspector, I can adjust the look of the numbers or switch to Roman numerals or letters. Well, in my list, if I hit the Tab key, the line will move to the right and a new numbered list will begin under the last number. Check the Tiered Numbers box, though, and the second tier items get a decimal after the number they're beneath. This is an ordered list with hierarchy. If you don't want your list to start at number 1, click here and enter the starting number. I'll switch this to number 5. Now let's take a look at a list I already have created but it's not formatted as a list. This is part of the contents from our Learn OS X Mavericks course. Each app name, like Safari or Mail, has a list of lessons on the app under the name here. So I'm going to make this an ordered list with hierarchy. To do that, I'll select all the text first, and then from the Bullets and List menu, select the Harvard style. This style starts with no Roman numerals, and as the list tiers, then goes to letters and numbers. Right now, I just have a list with all Roman numerals, so I need to start adding tiers. To do that, I'll select the items under each main topic and increase their indent by clicking this button or just by hitting the tab key. When I do that, the new tier changes to a lettered order. If I indent part of a list again, it gets ordered by numbers. To take this part of the list back to the lettered tier, click the decrease indent button here. 
it's possible to edit how the tiers are displayed. If I select the entire list, I can do away with the Roman numerals and switch to capital letters. But that changes the second tier to capital letters as well. So I'll need to select those again and change them to the style I want, which is numbers. If I have a third tier, I can assign that lowercase letters. I can then save this list style, and if I start with a blank list, it will retain that tier style of letters and numbers.